Hi there, what a coincidence, we're in the same elevator. Are you going to the top floor? Me too, let me, let me get that button for you. Wow, I'm so excited to meet you. I've got this really great idea to save the world. I just wanted to quickly pitch you on my business concept. We want to recycle all the plastic and turn into solar panels and put it on top of cars. We use psychoacoustic pattern matching in order to extract key frequency characteristics which we condense together into a fingerprint. And all I need is $10 million to do it. Want to invest? Wait, wait, stop. I'm Brad Burke, the Managing Director of the Rice Alliance at Rice University. We're here at the Rice Business Plan Competition, and we've heard thousands of pitches. We know what works and doesn't work. I think now it's time to hear from some of our judges about the do's and don'ts of a good elevator pitch. The most important thing for me in an elevator pitch is to understand right away what your core innovation is and how it's an advantage solution to an important problem that's going to allow you to build a really big business on it. Another thing to remember is that investors really want to understand why your product is unique and how is it that you're different than your competitors. Now, why I appreciate your excitement about your product, what you haven't told me about is your market. And tell me more about your addressable market. You know, how did you calculate it? Did you use a bottoms-up approach? And if you used a bottoms-up approach, can you walk me through that calculation, talking about specifically pricing and your overall go-to-market strategy and who the buyer of your product is going to be. Well, let's try this again. Hi there. Do you care about the planet and your children's future? You like having fun? Me too. Well, my company, Bennu's, created an online game that rewards you for doing good things like recycling. We've already launched our beta and we're looking for $100,000 to execute on our mobile strategy. Would you like to speak more about how I can help you make money while making the world a better place? We track ads on TV and radio in order to identify which ads were played incorrectly. This means ads cut off, ads played at the wrong time, and in this $60 billion industry, we find upwards of 10% of these ads are incorrectly executed, leaving about $6 billion on the table. Of all the places to give your pitch, we invite you to come to Houston next spring for the 13th annual Rice Business Plan Competition. For more information, go to www.rbpc.rice.edu.